let us talk about the present perfect tense. We use the present perfect tense to talk about unfinished actions. An action started at some point in the past and continued till the present moment. We use two words with the present perfect tense. One is since and the other is for. So how do we use since? How do we use for? Let us see. In the first example, I have known Sam since 1992. I met Sam in 1992 and I am telling the point of time I met him. Then we use since. I have known Sam since 1992. This is the, this is the point of time I met him. And now it is 2021. All this while I know. I have liked chocolate since I was a child. Now I am not a child anymore. I am an adult. But since when I developed a liking for chocolate when I was a child. The time when it started was mentioned and continued till the present moment. That is since. Now let us see for. She has lived in London for three years. Hey, suppose like this is 2021. 2018 she started living. But we are not talking about that point of time when she started living like here. We are only telling the period of time. Then we use for. She's lived in London for, for the period of time, for three years. If we have to say it using since, then we will also talk about the point of time she started living, like she has been living in London since 2018, right? This is the point of time when it started, but this is the period of time she lived. So like that we use since and for. I have, see, another example. I have known Julie for 10 years. I'm not talking about the point of time. I'm not mentioning the year when I met Julie. No, only the period of time I know Julie. Now let us see. Some other uses of the present perfect and how we use them. Now another one like since and for. Been gone. Let us see how we use this. I've been to Paris. He has gone to the shop. So what is the difference between these two? I have been to Paris. That means to say, I went to Paris. Now, I am back in India, in my hometown. Right? So, I am back. I am, I am no longer there in Paris. I finished off my trip. I came back. He has gone to the shop. That means to say, he is not at home. He didn't come yet. He is still at the shops. He is shopping still. Right? So that is what? I have been to Paris. I came back. He has gone to the shop. He is still there. Here, I have been to Paris. He has gone to the shop. He has gone to the shop. Is Either he is at the shop. Or he is still on his way to the shop. It is not over. Right? But here, been is over. So that is the difference between been and gone in present perfect tense. 
Now let us see another way of using it. Have we ever read War and Peace? This is about, we use this when we are talking about life experiences. That means to say, in your whole life, okay, from the time we have uh, known till now, okay, have you ever read War and Peace? War and Peace, by the way, is a, a novel by Leo Tolstoy, one of his best works and uh, one of the best uh, a piece of writing in world literature. No, I have never read War and Peace. That means from the time I have known, in all the time I can remember, never I read it. Till now. So that is how we do it. I have never seen that film. Have you seen that film? That means to say, any time, see, you know, that was a classic. Have you seen that? I'm not asking, did you see? Did you see yesterday at the film festival? You went to Toronto, then when you went to Toronto for the film festival, or did, did you watch that movie? No, I am not specifying any time. Any time in the past, have you seen that film? No, I haven't seen that film ever. That is how we use for life experiences. Now see the another way. She's hurt her leg. She has hurt her leg. You know this is called a contraction, right? She has. In spoken English, particularly, we use the contracted forms, right? She's hurt her, let's see, suppose like you are watching a movie or a serial in uh, 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 watching it on a TV or a film you are watching. They don't say, the dialogue suppose like, is there, uh, she has hurt her leg. They don't say she has hurt her leg. They say, she's hurt her leg. So to pick up the dialogues, you have to learn to contract the form and also speak in the contracted form. She's hurt her leg. This we use to show that its effect is still there. See, suppose like she's hurt her leg. That is why she can't play the match now. I have lost my keys. That is why I can't enter my house. The door is locked. Or, I have lost my bag. Have you seen it? Still, it is not found. So the effect is still there. So when we want to talk about such situations or events, we use the present perfect. Another way of using. I haven't seen her this month. See, when we are talking about events that are happening now during this month, this week, today, because it is not over. Today is not yet over. When we say this month, that month is not yet over. Right? I haven't seen her this month. Maybe after a few days, I, I, I may see. Right? The month is still there. But if you are talking about last month, see suppose I haven't seen her last month. Then we say I did not see her. We don't use I haven't seen. Because when we are specifying a time, like last month, we use the simple past. Suppose like yesterday, we use the simple past. She has had three cups of coffee today. Right? But if you are talking about yesterday, we simply say she had three cups of coffee yesterday. So this is how we use the present perfect tense. One, unfinished actions which started and continued to talk about the period of time and uh, please note the usage of been and gone. I have been to Paris. He is back again. He has gone to the shop still on his way or shopping. 
life experiences have you read any point of time from the time you know till the present moment have you done anything to talk about the consequences of an action that is still here the result is experienced even now and uh, to talk about the events or situations that are still continuing like this month this week and today so this is how we use the present perfect tense see you all in another video with another aspect of grammar till then take care and good day to everyone